we're going to talk about vertical angles. Okay, vertical angles are angles that are across the street from each other. So you always look at vertical angles in relation to two lines. Notice I have a line here and I have a line here and I have one, two, three, four angles. These are the four angles I'm looking at and my across the street neighbors across the street are these two and these two. And if you'll notice, these two are smaller and they're actually congruent to each other which means they're equal measures. So I'm going to mark these angles in blue with one little arc showing that they are congruent to each other. Then I'm going to mark these other angles congruent in green with two arcs and they're across from each other. Okay, these are what vertical angles are. So these two blue angles are congruent and these two green angles are congruent. Now I'm going to throw some numbers in there. What if I make this angle 120 degrees? Can I figure out the rest? And I can. If this one's 120 degrees, we know this one has to be 120 also because they're vertical angles. Now, if you'll notice, this is a straight line. And we know that lines add up to 180. So if 120 of it is here, that means we have 60 degrees left for this side, which means this ang vertical angle is also 60 degrees. That's how vertical angles work. They're very simple once you get the hang of them. So let's look at the rules of vertical angles. Okay, angles that are across the street neighbors are congruent, and that's what a vertical angle is across the street neighbors. Then angles that are adjacent or next door neighbors are supplementary or they add up to 180. So let's go back to our diagram again. These two 60 degree angles are vertical angles. These two um, 120 degree angles are vertical angles, but these two next to each other are what we call adjacent angles and they add up to 180.